let's go on the way tonight. No regrets, just love. We can dance until we die. You and I will be young forever. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you turn me on. But seriously, did you watch Clean this week? Because if you haven't. Even if you don't like the show, as an LGBT ally, you really need to watch it because it touched on so many issues that affect not only the LGBT community, LGBTQ community, but, um, like, just minority groups in general. I feel like you just need to watch it. And that's all I'm going to say, is just watch it. Watch it, and after you watch it, we can discuss. I don't want to ruin anything, because it was such a fabulous episode, but you need to watch it, seriously. Do you tell your friends that are, that are gay that they're gay? Like, for example. I'm like, I mean, I just said gay. Ah. One of my best friends, Morrissey, is real gay. Well, he's kind of, he's like, he's gay, but he's not, like, real gay all the time. And by real gay, I mean, oh, he's not that, like, that much. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to link to my Christmas video that he's in so you can see his beautiful face because I love him. So, Morrissey is, like, not, like, that flaming um, all the time. But when he drinks, he gets, like, um, gayer and gayer. And I tell him he's gay. Is that, is Oh, this is what I struggle with. I feel like it's okay for me to say he's gay, but not okay for other people to use it. And then I have to remind myself that sometimes when we're out doing things, if I say that and someone else hears it, then they're going to think it's okay. And I'm going to be perpetuating the uh, use of negative terms in my own community. So this is really a self-check video for me that I cannot do that anymore. And I just wanted to come clean and see, you know, if you if you use the word gay in a non-offensive way to your gay friends because you can use it because or if you're a straight person and you have a gay best friend, do you ever do you guys use that and do you think it's okay? And do you think are you, because all of this bullying stuff is coming out, are you finding yourself checking what you're saying and checking how you act in front of people that you don't know, like, say, at a restaurant or at dinner or at the mall or at the beach or wherever you are? Do you find yourself rethinking the way you use LGBT terms and um, their appropriateness? Are you thinking about it? Because I am. Because, you know... Don't want to perpetuate hate. Don't want to perpetuate closed-mindedness. Want to perpetuate open-mindedness and acceptance and zero tolerance for anything less. Um, yes. I feel like I'm so spastic. I'm going to Disneyland tomorrow with my whole family and my girlfriend and Morrissey, um, family gay friend, and my godmother and my god sisters and my aunt my cousin. It's going to be insane. So think of that that's for me in Disneyland. It's supposed to be good weather. Fingers crossed. Anyways, I'm real pumped up. And my girlfriend hasn't been there since she was five. So she, I think, is going to have an amazing time. I'm going to go get my Mickey ears. Isn't this the most amazing thing you've ever seen? I think I'm going to get more and give them out as Christmas presents. Eee! Mickey Mouse. Yeah. My last thought of the video, because I know I'm kind of like, oh of the place is I'm reading this amazing book called Things I Wish I Would Have Known Before I Got Married something like that um, and it's written by this amazing anthropologist I forget his name now and I'm too lazy to go get um, the Kindle but so it's this amazing book all about relationships and I highly 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 recommend reading it if you are in a relationship and you've been dating for I'm going to go with four months or longer I would recommend um reading it, or if you're single, you can read it too, but he has lots of other stuff that um, isn't, like, couple-specific stuff. Um, but the only thing, like, I am usually a person that is not easily offended at all, because I just don't care. Um, and I was totally getting, like, 
a little bit upset and sensitive while reading the intro to the book that talked about for centuries and centuries societies have been made up of men and women and men and women having babies and and for him it almost seems like, I mean you can tell he really wants couples to be like live happily ever after and have really healthy loving strong relationships but he always talks about it being a man and a woman and because I'm reading this book specifically for my relationship with a woman I was like I know we didn't do it on purpose but I was offended by it. I was like, what the hell? Two women can have awesome kids. Hello, but I just needed to complain. And I wanted to ask you, like when you read books and watch TV, do you ever get offended when you feel like you're not being represented? Okay, to recap, one, you need to watch Glee. If you're an LGBT person or you're an ally, you need to watch this week's episode of Glee, which I think is called Never Been Kissed, and you need to watch it, and let's talk about it after. <laughs> Two, do you use LGBT terms? Like, do you call your gay friends gay? Do you think it's okay? Has all the recent teen suicide and um, prevalence of all the info about bullying um, made you reconsider that? Three, do you get offended or not offended? Yes, do you get offended when you're reading literature and watching media and it's not representing you? Does that upset you or do you just kind of like you're so used to it you just kind of pass over? And are you like me? Do you typically not care but certain things set you off and why do you think they do? Okay, I hope you guys are having a totally faboosh week and um, I, again, am so happy to be here. I love this channel and I just think it's fabulous and I feel so lucky to have this opportunity to make these fabulous videos. So, love you totes with a pash as my girl Mara would say and have a fabulous week. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh my god, get up, Where am I going with this? Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Mm. Can I say I'm constipated, huh? Mm. Mickey Mouse, go, go. Isn't this the cutest line stopper you've ever seen in your whole fucking life? Full desk.